Mr Speaker, I am delighted to have this opportunity to discuss today's announcements of public sector pay rises. I informed the House last September that we would scrap the cap, and now we are delivering on that commitment. What we are announcing today, Mr Speaker, amounts to the biggest pay rise in almost 10 years for around 1 million public sector workers across Britain, including teachers, armed forces personnel, prison officers, police, doctors and dentists. This comes on top of the positive news we were able to announce in March that a million nurses, midwives, porters and other NHS staff would receive a 6.5% pay rise over three years. That deal was a benchmark example of where high pay awards are agreed in return for modernisation of terms and conditions. Mr Speaker, we were able to announce these pay rises only thanks to the hard work of the British people, which has brought down the deficit by over three quarters and allowed us to reach the point where the debt will begin to fall this year. We didn't listen to the siren calls from the opposition for damaging splurges, and that's why today we are able to scrap the cap and increase public sector pay. These new pay deals represent what this Government is about. They are affordable and responsible, while making sure we continue to provide the public with world-class public services. And also, they reward our hard-working public servants. Mr Speaker, it is great on this final day of this session in Parliament that we are able to give every person who works in the public sector positive news on which to enjoy their summer. Mr Peter Dow. Mr Speaker, these uninhabited proposals will do nothing to repair the damage done to our brilliant public sector workers by this Government's slash-and-burn policy in relation to the public sector pay. Over the last seven years, our teachers have lost £2,500, our firefighters £3,000, our prison officers £4,000, and our paramedics £4,000 in real-term pay cuts. Even the armed forces have been affected by this stingy Government. Yet the go- this will have a disastrous effect on departments close to ruin already from austerity who will be forced to cut staffing levels and services to cope. So can she guarantee that there will be no reductions in staffing levels across the public sector because of this unfunded increase in pay? Can she guarantee that public services will not be adversely affected by her, by her failure to provide proper funding? Can she explain why civil servants can t- continue to see real-term pay cuts are they on the, and they're always in the back of the queue when it comes to pay. Can the Chief Secretary inform the House how much additional social security expenditure has resulted from seven years of cuts to public sector workers' pay? And does she agree that it has been this Conservative Government, this Conservative Government's policy for the last seven years to force thousands of public servants onto social security by cutting their income? Mr Speaker, the party opposite should be ashamed. This Government's announcements today leave public sector workers treading water. These proposals will force threadbare departments to make further cuts to vital services and to reduce staffing levels. And what for? All so that the Prime Minister can get a cheap PR PR hit to try to cling on to power. And we don't buy it, and Labour will demanding that public sector workers get the pay that they deserve. Yeah.